Are you ready for our next matchup as we are about to rematch things again? The Boston Bruins and Carolina Hurricanes are the next matchup here in the first round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Now it's time to bring back the next part here of the commentator that we are all bringing things out here. The next one I'm going to take is Test Tube. Hey, thanks you so much right now. <laughs> it's been like the best thing in my life going on. And we got a great matchup here. This is the Stanley Cup Playoff Edition here, showing things for the first season to start. Yeah, it's definitely true always. You just got to know that they, they have gotten the great uh, solutions out here. We got some great matchups of these players. We know that Brad, Brad Marchand was already been out injured here in the first game. But now, the officials are saying that the athletic trainer is telling him that he can, he can definitely get right back into this game and try again from here. So he's all good right now. He doesn't have any uh, com uh, confessions here to make. And without all of them being, being known, it can be a little hard to try to work it around a bit. Of course it is true, but most of the time, they have to, like, split things up here again, and I get right to it. This is a lot of the hard work out there. And also with some uh, players that wants to play on offense, it's a hard thing to go in control. So it's time to bring the second game. The Boston is in a lead right now in the series 1-0. But will the Carolina Hurricanes try to spike them back? Or will it be the 2-0 series of the score of Boston Bruins to extend itself here playing at Carolina? We'll find out after this game is over. So let's step into the PNC Arena. Back in the Eastern Conference section, it's the Bruins and Hurricanes ready to take the short on the hand roll and it's time to let this game happen again. All the crews are ready for action here as the puck is about to drop things in the center. The Boston has wins the face off and we are underway. The start of this drive has to already have turned in here as we have already have seen before that Riley and their teammate have a lot of encouragement that they played, but the only man for himself is right in transition, going tricks, and they have it all beaten here in game one. Exactly true. Most of the time they have it out here for some reason, but the only thing that we need to go for is to keep an eye on the players. So they didn't want to really mess things up here again. So well, now what they have to do? Well, let's see how well they play here. It's a lot of intense game and in between the four first one seed, but there might be a, a higher ranking players that they have. As you can see, Marchand is already making it snappy, and the other player that we have already talked about it before, it's the only man himself, Slavin, to shut down. On the lockdown control, to knock it over. Knocking things over is just the only man then himself that gets uh, right into the, uh, in the column. We're really having a lot of uh, momentum out there. It's quite intense, but it's a lot of work here. And we got a delayed penalty coming up on Carolina for tripping, and it's Martin Eckes. The Boston Bruins are in a power play as Pashinas have a snipe one in the, uh, in the center that has the power through its hands. How does it usually take here to make a higher skill ranking? Well, most of the players really have some sniping going on. They have a lot of momentum to try to work their way around a bit. It's not that very easy because what they have done here is how hard they have done. Sniping is like a quick, quick puck drop and it rizzips it through into the, uh, into the neutral zone, right from the wing and into the goal. Sometimes it gets right around the boards here too. Boston trying to find somebody out there as we have McCovoy back to Smith. Fast still on him with the stick infraction. Almost got it loose here. DeBrusk getting a little piece of your eye by Chelsea. Goes right to Fast. Oh, he gets knocked down. Right to Aho. Slap shot. 
a stop by the goaltender by Omar. McAvoy's got in the own puck in the offensive to offense. Coyle right from the wing in the boards. McAvoy stopped by the goaltending and Anderson has stopped the play. This puck is like a control play. It's just a uh, just tough to get there and go from. It's a it's a work around the body from the check. They have it all through. Oh, Ago has got the puck here after the man has gone down on the boards. Trap Evan, right from Slavin. Moves it quick off to Ago, but it's taken away by the other player of the game. And the attack, stopped by Anderson. With only 5, 15, 20, it is going to be a very tough neck in between. We didn't make the half point mark as we are still right on the board. There's still no score yet. Boston has it all in transition to take the trick. Lorenz kisses off the cocaine meat. He's all alone. Oh, he just got pieced up by a Pastronax. And he takes the puck over again. Boston going back into the neutral wing. Try to watch Pastronax. Shot blocked. And it goes offside as this will stop the play from here for Boston. Interesting to me that this, these are, are the only guys that have really have dominated the crushers. There might be some demolition going on, but there might be some players that might be in track, in transition going in, in between the defense and the offense. But I think the uh, carry making can be a little bit tricky. Slavin holding the puck. Whoa, he went down. Lorenz needs to start things over from top, and while the man is already under quick, he does actually knows his way through. Maybe the moment of time is just very, very intense. Bergeron right to Hall. Slavin trying to poke the check. Goes right to Jarvis. Hurricane's got in the own control on the offensive break in. Slavin in the corner from the wall. Back to Bear. Slump shots. That goes off target. Slavin. Stop by the goaltender on Omar. And he calls on offside as this will reach to from the top of the beginning. We're still getting there close thereby as there's still no score yet. Boston has her own end with the frozen biscuit. Oh, he put it up out! But it just keeps happening again as this calls another offside. The Canes have their own puck in, 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 in transition inside the zone. Argo right over to Cole. Dishes off the bear. Slump shots! Shot went mark off wide. Cool in there. Stop by the goaltender on Omar. Omar's got a really good piece of it of this on in for. It's very hard to pick it right back in the money. Oh, he almost had it. But Omar just stopped it with the puck. Sometimes it gets a poke check here. And now it's Bergeron still with him. Big hit. And stopped by Anderson. Great use of controlling for Anderson. Even with the puck down board, and it just really does it here for the best or faster way to get there. Bear moves quickly to Cole. With the shot, that goes way off target, right on the board. March end up against the uh, uh, transition again. As a new change is being released, it's Cole. Trying to hold the back here, but unable to connect. Smith moves it over to Gunslick. Bergeron still has it out. It's a great poke check here by Bear, and now Jarvis will have it rebound the puck. It's a great save to keep your eyes on the puck because if you know, it's, it can be a hard timing here, but you don't want to make it stick in fraction here right on the other players. That will make them trip. Cole outside with the shot. Off again! Nekas has it off the puck on the board here. Pass on the board. Carry in! Backhand shot, no good as Allmark with the save. 
Boston going back in the other lane as they will pick it up on the way. Slap shot blocked by Cole. Cole's got a good D. A lot of, uh, a lot of strange work here, but they have already done it. Moves it quickly over to Cole. Pass. Shoots wide. Chucks is blocked. Moves it right over to Coyle. Coyle's in the transmission. And Anderson stopping the puck. Oh, get big jammed here with the Demolition Derby. And he scores! Smith has his first one in for game two. And Boston it takes a 1-0 lead. Boston has their own momentum as, as Craig is picking up here and he assists in this one. And this drive is picking up way ahead. Smith with the first goal and it's Coyle with the assist playing here for the first period. They got some good uh, good uh, players here. They've done it so much hard. they just done a lot of the techniques here. It just really couldn't help it save it better. But they all have to do it well here. D'Angelo in the backhand. Still can't kind of get back in there. All the rub around can't save him either. Slave it again. And it holds up by Nidretti. Shoots up. And a play is out and it goes right up into the netting. In between the attack now, it is now 1-0 Boston, as they need to find it back the other way. Carolina still has the momentum, and a great glove save by Omar. Repeat dishing the group here, it's still a, a biggest attack here that we have all had played on. After the last game, it was a huge loss in the first game, but now they might be doing it for a second time. Of course, actually, most most players have an actual speed and taking abilities. They have it all in, in between the hand. But one player has to give them up and try to work it around the board. D'Angelo outside. Going the middle. Stopped by Olmark and a save man has been held. What a great job by Olmark. He's well pressured, well deserved, it's just how how tough can be. The Hurricanes have a back and forward transition. Great stop by Omar. Hall still out there. And it's and it's a never never steal taking over. Icing is the whistle, and it will have to stop the play here. 5.02 left. A lot of passing in between here. A lot of great 100% to try to take the attacking the forgement, but the Hurricanes need to have it all towned it up. Wow, big hit! And pass going over the other rush. 2 1! Stopped by Omar. What a save! Omar really has no player to go. Because when you have the puck in, in, in the outside of the range, you're gonna need to try to like keep it keep it going here to try to, to try to go with a different idea. Try to have plan options with plan B. They won't pick up that play. Nagus to Trocek. Right to Jarvis. Right to Zdesky. With the shot, blocked and almost tipped it away. Nekas with the bad pass, it's Riley with a steal. Jarvis on him. He goes right to DeBrusk. Riley going right in it. Boston changing it up a bit. Up the cat, and he still has it all covered up. Teraven, I'm in rush. Stopping by the goaltender. Wow, what a stopping play. They still have average here. Numbers, it's just way up the target. Just a call right to Teraven. The Carolina Canes needs to find someone with an open man look. Avu, off to Bear. With a shot, off the pad it goes, and it's Avu trying to save it. Shot is blocked, and it still goes out of nowhere. Moves it quickly over to McAvoy. Hyler with the puck. This is off to Pasternak. The 2 of one can't get it to go. Pasternak lost the control. Stall in between the trick. With the shot, he scores! And the Kings tied it up by 
one. It's a quick eye attack. I think ankle breaking, not a hit. But with all it takes is a wrapping around and just controlling pucks. The Carolina Hurricanes have tied their game up by one. Without a question, Dark Mark, it was a rough and brutal game in between seeds one and four. I also definitely agree because what they have done here is just how tough they did play here before between the Atlantic and Metropolitan section. I can't believe they have just gotten a great chance. Nice play on the attacker. We're under a minute left here in the first period. Now 30 seconds to play. Fast has it along the board. Moves it quicker than that drafter. Back to D'Angelo. Shoots! Cole can't able to hit, hit that mark. Oh, what a stop by Allmark. And a save is putting up the pad, and it's almost tipped away. Right in the points of this game, it's always like turning in between the Bruins or in the Canes. Boston wins. And that will do the first period of the game. Stahl and the Bruins have gotten a release It's a tie game. The second period is about to start here as we are glad you make us back here for a second part of the game. The Boston Bruins have carried their own position and we are off to start the second period. The Carolina Hurricanes are placing it in the attacking zone. Fine Zappo. Moves quickly to Slavin. Right to D'Angelo. Shoots wide. Oh, and put it back in! A start of a second period? That was intense there. D'Angelo was trying to make a shot, but then it's a Sinesikov. He really has done it, and he was putting it back in there just in time. Now the Canes have broken the tie. It's now 2-1 in the game as they have it all under control. They're on the top seeds of this game. They have it all in wound up. Oh, here he goes. And he scores. Pick up this uh, breakaway, and the I man rush scores it. What a great deed here, and the breakaway is turning out just like that. That is a tough miss rebound ever heard, and he is all worth it. The Canes wins the faceoff as they have now have the extra man advantage for the special team. It's now 3 1 game. Terman moves to Slavin, right over to D'Angelo. The Bucks, the Canes are still working their way to make the, uh, make the offensive to try to make the aggressive to play here on offense. And the attack now, Terman. This is off to Ajo. Moves it quickly over to Snesnikov. And it's almost been broken up. Snesnikov couldn't handle the handle of the puck. Marchman helps it out. And Snetsikov has it back. Moving over is D'Angelo. With the shot saved by Olmark. Olmark has gotten just much better at that pace. You can't go out wrong with the other players here. It's a great save. Stopped by Anderson. And it goes off the puck in the other way. The Carolina Hurricanes are back in the boarding transition and back in the wing. And it's bad pass is taken over to break it up. Oh, D'Angelo has taken the puck over. Another turnoff change. He moves along the boards to Nadrano. Oh, he puts knocking down. Trocek has along the board on it behind the goalie. Finds Nectus. Right to Sergi. Pass. Shot blocked. Moves it quickly over to pass. He's getting in now. And the puck has been rallied out as Riley has it on the puck to put it back on the other lane. 
Pashidas, unable to find the man, open advantage, and it's now changing up the arrow lane. Stall, along the board, Madrono, Pesk, taking a coat check here with the stick lift. They got a great uh, man here, they are trying to keep an eye on the man here with a stick lift. That's all you need to do without being poke checked or even being called here for the power play. Stoll, inside, offline. Stoll tries again and his shot is blocked. Those players are really having a, having a, a difficult situation here to try to work in on offense. You don't want to make a mess here and try to work around the board. Saved by Omar. The knocking pad has been delivering out here. The Bruins are trying to fierce them back to try to stop them. Oh, and you have to try things again from the top. No man advantage. Icing is the call, and they will stop the clock here with just the 13-15 left. We're all calling for Anderson and Allmark here for the savings at that point. But this is the only man advantage that they have in between. March game only 10 and 12 here, and a shots for him hasn't been able to pick up the range. He always does because Marchman has has definitely got a great uh, great work here in a shot, but he was missed out here because all of a sudden he was injured. Now he doesn't have any man advantage here to try to work their things around. And they will be forced to regroup here on the uh, on the attacker as they have misfired the pass. The Carolinas are putting back in pressure. Nuckus right inside, and almost got a piece of it saved out of the way. Right to Slavin. Try to stop one, and it will have to reinforce to regroup again. Matronics still can't find a man in advantage. Try to move the board to Kopemi. Bastionuks. Marlinuks right over to Nuckus. And the attacker, oh, he went knocked down! And the goalie has a cover to save it. We're almost approaching a minute and a half to play here in the first, second period, as it doesn't go down under yet, to this down to 10 minutes. Now, gives the press. Moves it quickly over to Marchin. Vanovich, Anderson stuck with the glove save. Great glove save, great working opportunities. May you have it all wound up. In the wing, and it's bad pass disabled as this, the Brooks has it all covered. Vanovich, shot blocked by Slavin. The Brooks said it's blocked by D'Angelo. The Angels got a great work here on defense. Now they have a, a better man to play. Slavin dishes off to Martinux. Martinux trying to abandon the man. Oh, he's going in! He gets knocked down and a shot made saved by Omar. Inside! Can't get it a go! Avo right into pass. Off to Shevsky. And it's a save. Moves right to the brisk. Marchman looking for an odd band rush to try to force the attackers here back in the neutral zone. The brisk, how you stop on a goal pad of this of Anderson? Oh, what a stop here by Anderson! He keeps it going again. They really got a great strength here. Anderson is really getting there. A uh, much pressure at every cost. That is what they have. Oh, and not just a good uh, player, but just went badly. Off target. Hall oh, waiting forward. Oh, he put a little stick out there. A little rough on the aggressive play, but now they will have to try things again. Right to Devon. Oh, he couldn't handle it. Another save by Omar. And they will have to stop the carry in from play. We are just getting it in right underneath the 10 minute mark as right now it's 3-1 Hurricanes. They win the battle. Cool, neck is right to bear. Oh, he went big, bubbled up, and he just had it all. 
Those players are really, really tackling it so far. Think of tackling the football and also tackling the football players. That is a pretty strange look in between the offensive end now. Bear onside. And almost gets weak on the back hand shot. And it's Federick in the other lane. Federick going around the board in the middle. Yes, yeah, stopped off here by Anderson. Carolina's going in the another offensive end now for the another attacking with the puck. Now he moves off to D'Angelo. Slavin with the shot off the goaltender on Omar. Omar King really didn't carry on that much. That might be a different angle at that point. They need to try to try to uh, fix it and go with plan B. Great poke check here, and this one is carried out to the dreader. And the man rush! Oh, he just went too wide! The shot wide is giving him an off target. Looks like the players are just trying to try to swoop things around a bit. Fast on the attack. And already oh, hit the board by itself. McAvoy has it all covered out to Smith. Now he moves over to Riley. And over to Lazar. Lazar shot. Stopped by the goaltender of Anderson. Anderson really does it all. His best pay paid to him the price. We all give respect to him. And with Jacob Slavin, the shutdown has already occurred right from the angle of the, of the faceoff to help them out to shut those these cover guys down. Yeah, that's because of Jacob Slavin has already got made a made a shutdown. Most of all, it's what they have. With the shot! Oh, he just can't make it! Wow, Omar is saved it again and again. They are still trying to stop the clock. This one is giving a little bit more adding time. Well, they definitely do always. Now they need to go back here and fight it again. Boston in regaining control on the defensive. Lazar over to uh, Glutchy. Stick left being unheld. Over to fine goal. That stopped by the goaltender. And he put it back in and they have the goal. It snows it with the goal and it's now 3-2. Trailing by one. The Boston Bruins are looking for a chance here to tie the game up. And the second period is almost winding down. It's still getting to be a tough call. Now he moves over to Lazar. Back to Nazek. He has his first goal of the game here in the postseason. And now he has a little out man to try to make them pay. Oh, he had it! And it's Fargo! And it's tied now. This is going to be a tough battle in between the range. Boston and Carolina are all tied up now. Boston wins again. I'll go try to make them, make them pay. Bergeron still can't find anybody. March and aggressive. Ooh, he gets big hit. That's a great help here down the defense. Big slam. Make him pay. With the revenge of Slesikov, and it's Carlo taking a bad pass here and a breakup. This is off to Marchand. D'Angelo on him, and it's Slavin with the puck to shut them down. And the attack now, putting him in the risk. Moves it quickly to Turchip. Back to Shevsky. And he makes it off. And he doesn't hit that one as it goes off by the goaltender. Trojic up! Omar stops the glove with the puck. That's a great help here. That is just a great skill here for Omar to stop him by. And with uh, Patrick Bergeron with a yoink, it was able to carry things off here once they have it snappy and a yoink out. A yoink out, they, they really got some, uh, 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 a better idea with the, with the pace down they did. And the shot block is knocked away. That caused by the Jarvis. And he won't pick up that play. The brusque. In the attack on the neutral zone. And pass goes down. 
and the horn sounds, that means the second period has come to an end. On now to the third period, they're still tied right in the game. But who will lead? We'll be right back after this. It's time now to bring back to the third period. And we're set to go. Last period left to play. Let's get game on. Wow, Anderson really have gotten the puck out of the piece of the stone. Does it again. Slamming right to D'Angelo. Those goal goalies are just gotten so much better. That time, it was a breakout history. Turning. Unable to hit the mark. Tries again. And a shot is redirected with the block. Riley on Ajo. Moves it quickly to Marchand. Moves it quickly over to Riley with the puck. He is in now, and it's off by goaltender. Sitsikov's got it in the own end. And he loses the puck. McAvoy with the steal. Bergeron in. Poke check away. Debrus inside. Oh, he just stopped it in there. What a save made by Anderson. Anderson really wants to get things along right now. They want to stop him. With the shot, Mikas not able to answer quick, and it's Omar trying to stop the puck in transition. This is a hard making of this of the lane. Everybody's going to take the shot. They have it, everybody. It's a hard one. Two on one move. Boston has got their self in the own end as they're trying to look for the man here on offense to try to attack them. Slavin still has it out there. Nudretter with the puck. Oh, we just got a piece of that one. And that's Hall taken away. Harila inside the move. The Hurricanes are going back in their own end to face it off on another offensive look here. Moves right to Sergi. It's Pets with the shot off the goaltender and it's on Allmark. Allmark is really just going right in the lane here. That's because of how quick there is because no, there's nobody around here. There is no open shots. It's very hard to concentrate on them. And what they have done here before is that the players really need to hydrate themselves to get right through it. The bad pass is taken off and Smith has it all covered. Now it's Gersic. Bruins working in their own, own, out, on their own end. Ajo with the wraparound board. And the Sechikov attacker to a one! Oh, he just couldn't handle it! And Carlo just had it stopped! It's a very hard one. All of a sudden, it really gets things in the way. Just look. They just really couldn't fix it. Ago knocking beat down. Turn finding Snetsikov. He goes back again. Pass right to Seji. With the shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Ooh, got a big hit. And Bruins are just trying to stop the man pressure here to hit the D offense. They really did. A lot of stuff average happening here. It was nowhere, nowhere to be behind. Snedgy with the puck. Passes off. Monster knocks. Can't get it to go. And a save that's come again by Allmark. We are just getting right into the lane up as they're still tied up. No scores given up the run. Boston has won the faceoff here in a neutral facing defense. Marchand in the other end. Picking up pucks with the steam. Goes right to DeBrus. Right to Riley. Right to Marchand. Boston is really pacing him so far. Oh, what a stop by Anderson. Try to move it away here, and now he goes right to Lorenz. Mass Warren looks, try to save it by. Almost picked up the puck loose. 
Oh, it almost went discommunication gear, and it didn't really help him out for the Kings to stop in. He brusque right to McCall McAvoy. He goes right to Bergeron. Shut! And that goes off the toad with a glove save. And it goes off the target here and goes right to the side of the net. And a bad pass given up by DeBrusque. Goes right around the board. And they just couldn't handle it back. DeBrusque takes a big hit. Cole working on the other way as the Canes are trying to find a regain position. Trojek to the cause. Bad pass by McAvoy. And with a steal. This is not going to look very good at all. It might be not solving the problem anyway, but they have not picked it up here for the steam. It looks like the, uh, the players that are really have, have working their way out, it looks like the defensive uh, players on, on the team has gotten some higher rankings. Bad pass kicking off as D'Angelo has it up on the, on the end. And it's intercepted again. Cole stopping it through on Hall. He's swooping through. He's warping his way around. Fast has it covered. Right to stall. Almost went rejected off. And no penalty called for Boston. Hall in the other lane. Cole with him. Stopped by the goaltender. These goaltenders are really like a, like a hard transition work. That is a great skill out. Moving back in, fast, on Carolina attack. Oh, and it missed flyers, and this goes back to try things again. Giving the boards by himself. Ago. Dish off the fast, and it just couldn't save it. The Carolina Hurricanes are making a man advantage to work their way through. He's got it in! And he went big down on the board. Smith snaps the call. Couldn't save it. And that was very close out there. Wow. Oh my goodness, he was very close. Almost would have went in the net, but it would stop in. The Hurricanes wins the faceoff. And he scores! Broken in a tie. It's a one goal game. The only after face off is just a one whack shot. There it is. That's what happens here. Pass with the shot, and that is how you do it. The Hurricanes regain their controlment of 4 3 in their third period. After with a close up tie, it is going to be another breaking run. Yeah, it looks like the Hurricanes really are working their way around a bit. I think they're looking for a chance to hit the with the second win. First win in the second game. This calls for icing, and they will have to stop the play here. Only 5.55 left. The Hurricanes have their own advantage here to have a one, one lead one point lead and they may have another average here if they have higher skills or in between the mid-range skills. Moves it quickly around the board to Snesikov and, and Skepsi goes right to pass. Pace finding a man advantage and Skelius can't able to make, it, make the advantage play out. Right to Snesikov and he's broken up. Federick in alone, finding, finding Plastic. Hurricanes working your way back. Stopping along, my guy gets it. Coil in the other hand. Oh, he just got big sack here by the wall. The board's not going to help. You're not going to be able to succeed it. And with the ankle breaking, trying to make the man feel like an uncomfortable position. Off to Sushi. He's in alone! Moves it quickly to D'Angelo. Georgia shoots! And he goes off the pad by Nomark. Jarvis right to D'Angelo. With the slap shot, off 
the goaltender and it goes right behind the net. Almost went off wide. Oh my! That's another shot save. This really gives them a great pressure. They know they have some odd mans here with a defensive look at in break. Debrusk really gotten swooped up a bit and it's another takeaway. D'Angelo with the puck. Back to the cuts. Goes aboard. Oh, he went off. Trocek. Off to Sechi. And he went with a broken pass. Federick pushes up. And it goes out of play. Almost finished right now as Slavin and Marchand has got it snappy and a shutdown man. These plays can be only, only direct when there is a man advantage to have them snappy in and sometimes with Slavin to shut them down here on their own offense. They actually do. And because of Slavin has already got, gone way around it, it's all what they paid for is the price to have it all knocked down. All in it, and a big hit direction. Nearly a minute left to play in the third period, and we are almost finished for the second game. And this one's going wide off, and a shot block, knocked down again. Stall with the puck. He resistions over to, to Berman. Again, a misfired pass. Seji with the puck. Two on one, broken up by Gylik. Boston in the transition mode with a last last transition left. And there's no time limit to get the things back in the way game. Now they pull the goalie, they're gonna go for it. Oh, Sosikov, he shoots it! Oh, it went bad fired, it looks like it went redirected. This is not looking really well at all, it really does. Oh, he just missed it off and can't get it back in there. Kevin! Shot went wide. Pass up, and that's the game. Hurricanes tied the series 4 3. Wow, what a game. It's a showdown in between the Metropolitan and the Atlantic. This is a lot that much harder than everyone does. Hey, hey, it's a great win for the Canes. They've done it all. And that should do it here as the Canes make the celebration here in Game 2 to tie the series. Next game, it will be the We Win, and it's time for a We Play in Boston for the third game when we come back after the NBA playoffs. Now it's time for the three star players of the game, as it's all been about in a triple doppel mind, but turned around in an off slight bound. And, and let me tell you that, it was an excellent game. Let's have your take on you, Test 2, to start with number 3. Thank you very much, I will take it from here. Number 3 is Nick Foligno. One goal and one assist. With all no questions in mind, this was all that brings him happening here, deflected off of the goalie pad. But that's all it took. Second star, Jacob Slavin, two assists and three hits has only been dominated out there to shut them down. And the first star is Brett Pest. One goal, three assists, and after the face-up, well, you may have an all-advantage here with the man lead of the goal of the game. So that's going to wrap it up here, folks. We will be back here for another Stanley Cup playoffs in between the Eastern Conference teams and the Western Conference teams to have it all with the workout run. Me and Test Tube are finished for this game, but I will be returning with the next uh, next person on the sideline to take it from the next uh, next commentator to help me out. Test Tube, it's been great helping having with you. I and also thank you so much for your time. Anytime. If you need me, if you need me anything, well, give me the call. I will definitely do it for you. And this has been a presentation of the of the Stanley Cup playoffs of NHL 22. Until next time, peace out for for our next game in between the other teams. And for Test Tube Gone, this is all we have been playing with an excellent game. I'm Son of Beast, 
thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, good night in Carolina of Raleigh, North Carolina, and with the Boston of the team.